Tara founder Do Kwan is on the run, says Korean prosecutors. During the weekend, there was a lot of chatter about Terra, about Terra founder Do Kwan trying to escape from prosecutors. He, however, took Twitter to or took to Twitter to clarify that he was not on the run and has shown interest to communicate with government agencies. So it's kind of funny because it's like clickbait title. We're on. The, he's on the run, but he's not on the run because on Twitter he said he wasn't on the run. I hate these articles. Come on, Watcher.Guru. Get it together, bro. He also claimed that he and his team were in full cooperation for they had nothing to hide. Further adding to uh, to the said thread, Quan said, we are in the process of defending ourselves in multiple jurisdictions. We have held ourselves to an extremely high bar of integrity and look forward to clarifying the truth over the next few months. Per a recent Bloomberg report, prosecutors have raised the process prospect that the terror executive is trying to evade redress. Here, it is worth recalling that prosecutors issued an arrest warrant against Kwan last week and intend to arrest him for allegations that include capital market law violations. The prosecutor's office refused to comment on whether or not he planned to contact Interpol. However, it is uh, it said in a text message to Bloomberg that there has been circumstantial evidence of escape ever since he left for Singapore. And that is why an arrest warrant was issued in the first place. In fact, another parallel report by the Yoap news agency cited prosecutors saying that the Terra founder was not cooperating with probes and had told investigators around August through a lawyer that he had no intention of appearing before them for questioning. In fact, in response to Kwan's I am not on the run or anything similar tweet, South Korean prosecutors said Do Kwan was obviously on the run. Okay, so South Korean prosecutors here are saying that he's obviously on the run. He's saying he's not on the run. It's pretty hilarious because now we have the internet just to watch these people say opposite things of each other over and over again. You gotta love it. And then have extremely confusing articles like this come out. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is very comical, right? Um, like I said, because we get to kind of like watch it on, on Twitter happen, right? Uh, a prosecution official said the news agency currently or, or to the news agency. Currently, we are in the process to locate the whereabouts of suspect Do Kwan and apprehend him. The official further added that they will cooperate with local and overseas investigative bodies to get to the bottom of the case. All right, guys. So he's saying he's not on the run, but, you know, the, the agencies are saying he's on the run. Better watch out, Do Kwan. What you gonna do when they come for you? It's pretty rough stuff. I I never. Uh, my position is like I do feel like sometimes you just get yourself in a bad position, and you're like, "Crap, why did I do that?" And it wasn't ever necessarily something that you did on purpose. Like I feel like initially a lot of people have good intentions and then those good intentions start going wrong and they put themselves in a bad position. And then it's like, it's, it's too little too late. I think like the biggest, the, the hardest principle to come around to, uh, for me, even like, as I've gotten older, I've gotten better at this, but it's like, it, this is always hard. Just like as soon as you realize you're wrong, admitting you're wrong, immediately and then trying to fix it right but in the case of like some of this stuff it, it that's still going to be like maybe not the best way to handle it right like i've i've learned that as well where you need to get like the lawyers to talk for you and and do all that i guess my only point like when i kind of talk about this sort of stuff is like i'm not necessarily sure that doquan was doing anything intentional to screw anybody over originally and then it kind of just snowballed into screwing people over if that makes sense, right? Um, you get yourself in a bad position. You just keep going. It's not a good idea. 
Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.